Hello viewers, welcome to African Acts. For those who've tuned in for the first time, African Act is a program that showcases the best of what Africans in the UK are doing, and of course, even in Africa. Entertainment, music, politics, well, let's say the magazine program, whereby you can see everything and everyone that's got anything to do with Africa. To kick off the program today, I'd like to say there's a lot that's happening politically in our country, but this week, we got to meet one of the distinguished people in East Africa, the Secretary General of the East African Community, uh, Ambassador Juma Mwapachu. It was such a great thing for us because as we hear a lot of political things happening in Africa, it's good for us to meet the people that are actually making changes. So stay on with this program and you will see a few of that. Also, we've got a music session. Of course, we don't forget to entertain our young ones and also people who are very stressed out, out there after working so hard. Watch out for the Entertainment on African Act. So let's now go and see what was happening at the Kenya High Commission as they welcome Mr. Juma Mopachu to the event, a social evening to welcome him to London as he share his vision for East Africa. On follow-up from the completed Kigali Rwanda Summit on Global Food Crisis, Ambassador Juma Volta Mopachi was invited by African Matters to share his thoughts on East Africa. Hence the welcoming social evening at the Kenya High Commission. I therefore want to uh, recognize you, Excellency Ambassador Juma Mopachi, and uh, we have great pleasure, I can tell you that in uh, welcoming you here at the Kenya High Commission and our, as our guest tonight. Um, London, we like to feel, has been uh, uh, a host to many nationalities uh, throughout ages. And East Africans have also uh, come here in big numbers and have made their homes in the uh, United Kingdom. And uh, they may have been the latest, but some of them have really with major impact. You've just been telling me about some of them uh, who are uh, originally in Tanzania. Ambassador Mopachu spoke clearly of his confidence on investing in capital markets and other investment potentials in the region. In his speech, he mentioned that order has been restored in Kenya after the post-election violence. He acknowledged the involvement of outside companies in the growth of capital market in the region, example the Safaricom IPO. You know, the EAC is the most vibrant regional economic organization in Africa today. Uh, we are a customs union. We're the only other customs union after South Africa. They started back in 1912. Uh, but we think that we are a much more robust one, uh, very much developmental oriented, not just trade oriented, uh, which some of the wrecks uh, like Comesa, you know, are. Um, and those who come from our region, from East Africa, I think you can rest assured um, that this particular ship, you know, is very much on course. Um, the political will uh, of our leaders is, uh, is very firm. Um, in Kigali, um, the five heads of state addressed um, about 1,000 uh, business people uh, from our region and uh, from abroad and assured them uh, that uh, the region is together, it's a cohesive unit. Uh, we are negotiating uh, EPAS, the Economic Partnership Agreement, uh, as a block. We are trying to promote East Africa as a single investment in tourism destination. We are putting the necessary legal and regulatory framework that will assure investors that they can invest in East Africa as a region rather than uh, as nation states. So I think uh, you, can, uh, you can be very, very confident that if you are thinking about investing, then East Africa is the place for you uh, to come and invest. And I'll be very, very happy to uh, remain in contact with any of you uh, who would want uh, to be in touch uh, with me as far as uh, investment potential uh, in East Africa is concerned. Uh, we will be having the second East African Investment uh, Conference uh, in Nairobi in June next year. Um, I welcome uh, uh, NA or all of you uh, to come and attend uh, uh, this particular conference. Our region offers a lot of potential. Um, and don't let anybody tell you all oh, the post-election violence in Kenya, you know, what is happening there. You know, that's a passing phase. It is past. It's history. 
uh, Kenya is coming out of this a more solid uh, political uh, country uh, with new governance structures, new constitutional dispensation, new electoral laws that will ensure uh, that our region does not find itself in that kind of a hiccup uh, anymore. Uh, the grand coalition, um, 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 this is not uh, uh, a grand coalition, uh, you know, for, for all time. Uh, it is to enable uh, Kenya, you know, recoup itself. Uh, it is the best thing that has happened to Kenya. And as I said, Kenya will come out of it a much stronger. It is still uh, the most powerful economy in the region. Uh, all of us really look to Kenya uh, in terms of uh, the experience uh, that they've gone through. I was telling the heads of state in, uh, in Kigali uh, that uh, the market capitalization, stock market capitalization in Kenya has now reached one trillion Kenyan shillings or $16 billion. Um, uh, the, uh, the Tanzania and Ugandan uh, market capitalization are just about one quarter of that. But the capital market now is a growth industry uh, in the whole financial service. And I know London uh, is at the heart you know, of the capital market industry in the whole world. Uh, so those of you that I met last night, and I think there might be more here, who come from this sector, there is a lot to be done. There is a lot of opportunities, and I know that some of them did participate. I know Morgan Stanley. I met somebody from Morgan Stanley uh, last night. Uh, they are the ones who worked out the IPO for the Safaricom, mm -hmm. probably the biggest IPO that has ever happened in Africa. So you can see that you know our region has really opened up. You know it is there. You know for you to come. Uh, and, and benefit uh, from the resources that we have. Uh, we have an excellent people, very warm. We are generally a very peaceful people. Uh, we have the skills. Uh, uh, we have the best tourism facilities anywhere in the world. You don't get you know, the kind of uh, you know, game parks, the Serengeti, the Masai Mara, the Ngorongoro, Zanzibar. Zanzibar, Selu, which you have not even started to, uh, uh, to explore. Uh, but, but Zanzibar as well, Mombasa. So uh, Ruizori and of course uh, the, uh, in Rwanda, you know, the uh, gorillas and uh, Rwanda is really picking up really in terms of opening up, uh, you know, a tourism uh, uh, sector. Uh, so you can see that our region really offers all the potentials. So please, you're most welcome. And I think I've taken much, much longer than I thought, <laughs> you know, but uh, thank you very much indeed for coming back. Thank you. As usual, it's always a pleasure for African Act crew to integrate with audiences and guests at any event we attend. And this event was no exception. The people that attended from all walks of life, different colors, different genders, all were very enthusiastic to share their passion for the work being done in East Africa. Well, let us hear from them why they have decided to take part in what's happening in East Africa.